it seems that this story about the Cristeros is something that not a lot of people know about. Right. Um, what does it mean to have a movie like this now, and what can we learn about it? Well, uh, it was it's, it was interesting to me when it was presented that uh, I, I I knew nothing of this war either, and then when I started asking even uh, uh, Mexicans of Mexican descent, they were, they were some said, oh yeah, I think, but there wasn't not a lot of knowledge, and then that was a great curiosity to find out why is it not talked about, and. Uh, I would imagine that there is some embarrassment to the to the the reality of the war because it was about, you know, uh, the premise that you know the government wanted to basically kick the Catholic Church out of out of Mexico and people rose up to to fight against the government for for religious freedom. This kind of battle is even going on today in, in countries around the world where where liberties are are deprived from the citizenry, and not only religious liberties, you know, just the freedom of speech and and freedom to be, you know, self-determined and to be an entrepreneur and be able to have, you know, all these kinds of freedoms are, being, are deprived in many countries around the world. So it's important, to, I think, to always to, to shed light on that and maybe you can learn something from it and not repeat, and have history not repeat itself. What is it that caught your attention and how was it working with the rest of the cast? Well, the, the, the story, I thought it was, you know, it was a, an ambitious story, a very romantic uh, adventure that one would go on in the process of making the movie. And we have, an extraordinary cast, Ru Ruben Blades, who plays uh, uh, the President Caius, mm -hmm. who's an old dear friend, uh, not only a great musician, but a terrific We actor. don't like him in the movie, though, right? And, <laughs> no, you know, well, you know, he's got, he has his, everybody's got a point of view, and it's important to, to, to shed light on it, you know, and, and of course, e Eva Longoria, who plays my wife, who have now worked in three movies together, so I have a great, a great fondness for her, and she's very, extremely talented, and Catalina Sandina Moreno, Oscar Isaacs, and Santiago Cabrera, Bruce Greenwood, Bruce McGill, uh, Peter O'Toole, you know, it's un elenco, you know, it's a, it's a, okay, sorry, I went into Spanish because I've been doing <laughs> Spanish interviews. No, it's a beautiful cast, and uh, I, I'm really honored to, to be, you know, working with them. And the movie was filmed in, uh, in Mexico entirely. and produced. Uh, yeah, it was produced uh, and, and filmed entirely in Mexico with an entire Mexican crew, uh, except for the director and some of the cast members. The rest of the cast, the member, all the designers, everyone was, uh, it was uh, Mexican. You and know. it was the most expensive Mexican production? That's, I was told it was the most expensive to date. What's yes. so special about it? Well, I think photographically and the production values of the movie are extraordinary. The things we were able to do and, and the places we were able to visit just to get people there was a chore in itself because we were in very uh, remote areas uh, because a lot of the movie takes place in the countryside. Mm -hmm. And we shot in national parks and, you know, and. Uh, Far, very hard to reach mining towns and so, and so forth and the fact that the crew the entire crew uh, was able to facilitate that for us uh, was really uh, it was really beautiful to watch how much how much care and passion they had for 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 cinema and particularly for this story great well thank you so much it's been a pleasure talking with you pleasure thank you thank you